What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Qantas beautiful, beautiful video with this handsome, handsome individual, Mr. Wells Knight. How's it going tonight? Uh, handsomely. Or today? It, it's going handsomely. Handsomely? Handsomely. Did you redo your hair? You get a haircut? Uh, um, I shaved. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, you made a few improvements to the beautiful furnace over here. I did. With more tanks. I it, love it. Indeed. Added a bit while you were sorting out some technical difficulties. Uh, and yeah. also, I had technical difficulties as well last episode. So, apologies for that. Um, I know it was probably it was... a little weird, like, seeing my gameplay and then hearing all of Krillik's game sounds. It was... So... Yeah. It, uh, that was just... We're going to forget about that night. That was not that a good was... night for recording. We had like no. acrylic had issue. Acrylic's computer like exploded. There were like, <laughs> it was like fire and smoke and he had to like call the fire department. And then like my microphone decided it was just going to like grow legs and run away. And yeah, yeah. it's pretty bad. Yeah. You know, professional YouTubers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, so uh, we have a bit of sciencing to do. We do. We have some sciencing to do for sure to, uh, to test, to test some things out. But before we get into that, Oh, um, yes. just, uh, so you guys are aware, Krillik is leaving me. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Our, our friendship has ended. We're no longer. <laughs> no, uh, Krillik's going on vacation. Um, a much needed vacation. Uh, so he's going to be gone for, uh, a week or a little less than a week five, or something like that. Five, five days, I think it is. Yeah. But then you're gone. But then, then I'm you're going. Leaving me. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to Mine Fair in Charlotte, North Carolina after that. So, um, We'll see if maybe we can, uh, we'll have like a two day window there where we'll both be back, where we'll like yeah. both be home. Um, but if the stars don't align and we're not able to like sync up our recording schedules to get more Qantas out, don't panic if there's no Qantas for like a week or two. Um, yeah, exactly. it, it, the series is not ending. The series is not going away. It's just uh, like acrylics going on vacation and then I'm going to mind fair and we're going to be gone and like obviously uh, recording while you're on vacation or recording while you're like on a plane or in a convention is a little difficult so yeah um, it just never happens yeah as much as we say it so yeah no not a big deal you know real life stuff good times indeed indeed but well, science has these things called real life anyways hey eh? is this the real life <laughs> this is the this is our life is this yes. just fantasy <laughs> We, uh, we actually were discussing, <laughs> uh, we need to do like a karaoke or something one day. That would um, be possibly scary. terrifying, but also incredibly amusing. Yeah, both. All right. So anyway, science. Science. We found this solid fuel last episode. We did. And it's got a burn time of 40,000 compared to charcoal that has 1,600. So does this work with endoflames? Let's find out. You could probably Let's... just toss it on the ground. Like not, no. not or that was the hard way. The okay, hard way. do it. Do it the hard way. Do it your way. Oh, yeah, it ate it. So it and the weird. Here's the thing, right? You just dropped two endo flame or two of those solid fuel, right? Yeah. So how many? Uh, let's pick that back up. How many endo flames are lit right now? Four. Mm-hmm. Are we like hacking? How how is? Are some of them visual glitched or anything? I I I genuinely don't know. You're the one with the wand. Well, and honestly, you can't tell, right? Because it's going to the spreader so fast. We'd have to remove the spreader yeah. to find out. And I really don't want to reset that. Yeah. I mean, it's, but it, it's the, the yeah. thing is, right? It's not really going to work. Well, I shouldn't say it won't work. I don't think it's an ideal solution for us. I yeah, mean, well, the, the biggest problem is it's going to take too long. So as we're seeing here, these guys are sitting here right. waiting because all the endo flames are on cooldown or working and because the burn time is like 40 times more it's probably going to elapse the five minutes and then our items are going to disappear right this will despawn before the next batch of uh, solid fuel gets picked up because they'll they'll burn for too long in the end of flame so i don't think that's going to work exactly. and then on top of that it also requires uh, a bit of doing to make these like the gunpowder yeah. and the aluminum i just don't think it's worth it um, yeah no it might just be one of those things that we can maybe later on yeah maybe we get some of that stuff up and running maybe we can set up a cool thing with that with some sort of special timer or something but maybe down other than the road. that you know it's cool 
it's, it, it is. It could be good. Uh, so I have heard, though, someone told me in the comments what the solid fuel is actually supposed to be used for. Oh. So you toss it in this fuel input machine. Okay. And it speeds up the smeltery. Oh, okay. So it doesn't fuel the smeltery. Like, you can't use just solid fuel to, uh, to like, make this smelt things, right? Okay, so you still need lava. Right. You still need the lava, but with the solid fuel, and look how fast that's going. Did you see that? Oh, dang. Yeah. Like, boom. Oh, that's way faster. Yeah. Holy so cow. that's what it's used for, is for making your smeltery, like, insanely good um, as far as that goes. Interesting. Okay, well, that's awesome to know mm -hmm. and to show people and all that kind of stuff. Um... So a little bit of science thing. We got a few things done. You know, we discovered a few things. We love science. I have more science for you. You have more science? Are you prepared for my science? I don't know if I am. This is unknown science right now. This so, is cobalt. So I want to see what happens when you remove a block from the Tinker's casting table. Why? No, no, I'm just kidding. We already know. How, we, we already. Oh, did they change? <laughs> oh no, it's still it's still hardening. I was gonna say. Did yeah, they it's still the hardening. Co the cobalt texture because this new texture looks sweet. But uh, yeah, no, that's it's, nice looking. That's it's nice the, looking when it's like solidifying. Yeah. So uh, we, I wanted to do a little science with this seared furnace, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, let me grab. Um, what do we have that needs smelting? You know what? Let, let's grab some jungle wood for charcoal, right? Yeah, but we always need more charcoal. Yeah. So here's point. the thing. I want to build a smelter where I can take the things that I want to smelt, dump them into a chest, walk away and forget about it. Makes sense. Right. I don't want to I don't want a, a furnace array or, or, or whatever that I have to babysit. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? No, exactly. Yeah. You got to make a whole bunch of stone. Just throw it in the chest. It's done. Right. So and, and, and I will confess, we did a little bit of the science already during an episode that was lost due to technical difficulties. But. Blue screen of death. Blue Nobody screen did. of death and uh, <laughs> flames and then broken audio and it was bad. Anyway. Massive consumption. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so what I wanted to find out was if we could put a chest to input stuff into this furnace controller, right? Yeah. yeah. This furnace controller has to go in the middle of the seared furnace. It can't go like off to the side, right? You can't yeah, put it not like... like not like we have the control over here on the right. smeltery where we can access it to the side and all right. that kind of stuff. Because here I can run a hopper into the side and it's good to go. Can't yeah. do that here. And I can't just stick a hopper. Uh, what happened to that? Did I you pick it up? Oh, it yeah. went right I, to I me. Have it. And you can't just like put a hopper here because hoppers, for whatever reason, have a full block hitbox, even though their like yeah. sprite isn't a full block. I've never understood I that. have never and understood that either. Like, for some reason, like, I can see past the hopper. Why can I not yeah. click past the hopper? It's just, exactly. It's, it actually aggravates me a lot, but... Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> but anyway, so we were looking to see if there's any sort of pipe or item conduit or anything like that that we have available to us in this pack at the age that we're currently in. There are uh, item conduits later. Like, I believe we get uh, Ender I.O., I think. Yeah, there uh, is Ender IO. That is correct. And some other stuff too, probably, but we don't get those for a while. So the answer is this mod right here, which we have not yet used called Hopper Ducts. Oh, fantastic mod. I'm Hop so glad we found it. Hopper Ducts is like, honestly, like I, there are a very small handful of mods that I think this should be in vanilla. Oh, right. That Hopper that Ducts is one of those. One mods. other one that I think always should have been and it was big in 1710 dense ores dense ores and nether ores oh nether ores yeah yep. yeah more diversity than nether that'd be cool exactly too. but anyway yeah. hopper ducks basically what a hopper duct is is it's essentially like think of it like a hopper extension cord kind yep. of or like a hopper pipe right like it won't pick up items but it will transport items through uh, and it can go in any direction. So it can transport items up, it can transport items down, it can transport items to the side, whatever. Which That's is something that best part. regular the hoppers part. cannot yeah. do. Um, but the other nice advantage of it, which people don't really think of very often, is that hopper ducts are not a full block hitbox. 
Nope. So I can put this furnace. guy here and I can still access the furnace, which is amazing. And then and exactly can, what we wanted. And exactly what we wanted. So I can throw my jungle wood up here and it will go and work its way into the furnace where it will compile into stacks of 16 and then do the smelty thing. Right. Yep. Into charcoal, just like that. So there you go. And it almost smelts it by the time it places in the fifth one of the 16th block or whatever it is. Um, so as soon as it gets about 21 in there, the previous 16 seems to smelt, which yeah. is really, really fast. Really good. And, and it's interesting because the, the difference is, right, if I just take 16 and dump them in, like the it, it, timer slowly. It takes some time. It, it, it takes a while. If I take 16 and spread them out like this, those Very smelt fast. really fast. So I think it's because it's going in one item at a time that like it it does something where it, it tries to smelt them much faster. And it, you know what? It, it totally works. Like I'm good yeah. with it. It's so, kind of like a furnace hack. It is. It's And this thing actually works amazingly well. Like we can just take all of our jungle wood that we have or whatever. I'm using jungle wood because there's a jungle over there and we have a ton of it. But you can just take this really jungle wood and we're like, oh, we need charcoal. Okay, no problem. Let's just uh, dump that in here. Let the uh, let the Tinker's Furnace uh, do its thing. And then we have plenty of charcoal to toss into our Botania setup so that our Botania setup can keep running. So it actually works out super well. Awesome. No, I agree 100%. This has worked out fantastic. The only thing I wish, and maybe, maybe one of the viewers knows, are we able to automatically pull... I was actually out. wondering that myself. Like, it might have to be on the bottom or something, but if the hopper ducks, like you said, can go vertical upwards, and they we can, can kind of just go all the way into that little open crate. So here's what I'm wondering, right? First mm -hmm. of all, <laughs> it, this, this could be interesting. First of all, <laughs> can we output from this thing? Yeah. Like let's uh, let's test this first. I need uh, a a chest. Um un uh, you can just access the gooey on the hopper, can you? I can, but it's I, I need something to put the hopper into, like to feed it ah, into. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah. So we need like a chest or something here anyway. So we'll just do that so, and we'll do this. Right. So and... while you're sciencing that, I'm also going to start over here and I'm gonna start making a rune of the air. Yeah. Okay. Kind of progressing a little bit in the Batania side of things while we're going and sciencing things. Okay. This is not pulling anything out. No. Which is not, ex which, which honestly I expected. I didn't expect it to pull anything out. Well, it wasn't connected to it. Well, it was. Oh, it but was. But it wasn't okay. pulling anything out. So the next thing I want to try. Does it maybe have to be directly in the middle, though? Well, you know what I mean? Nah, I don't think so. I think no. it needs to be connected to the controller because if we talk about like the tinkered smeltery, right? Yeah. Everything needs to go in and out of the controller. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That's or true. or one of the drains. Um, but here's what I'm here's what I'm thinking. I think we can do this, do this, mm -hmm. and we can try to I'm put liking the headspace. I'm that liking the here. Put that there. This still yep. lights, right? It works without those bottom corners? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. we could have saved so many blocks. And then... <laughs> these do I'm drain. Just, okay. I'm just mad. So, oh, we could have saved so many blocks. <laughs> well, here's the thing. These do drain out. Okay. okay? So it, it will drain that way. But I okay. think the problem is going to be... The hopper duct? No, we put our hopper duct here. We oh, put our I'm hopper here. He we put our hopper put our top, yeah. here. And then when we throw logs in, I have a feeling those logs are going to drain straight through the chest, which is exactly what happened. Oh, okay. So. Oh, you know what? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Guess what? What? That same beautiful mod, hopper ducks, has a graded hopper. It has a filter. That would do the trick. Oh, this is fan diddly tastic. Because fan that, diddly. Because that would totally work. That's basically what the problem is. We would need a filter of some sort, but we can do that. Yeah, exactly. So if we filter charcoal, 
and then we can automatically get it out. And then anything else that we smelt, we can either add it to the filter or just manually grab it. So where is this graded? Uh, uh, yeah, graded grade... hopper. Just iron bars with a hopper. Oh, that's easy. That's super yeah, easy. super cheap. Okay, so allow us to attempt this. I think we can do it. I think I we think. can. We're about to I find hope. out. I really hope we can do it. So we go. Um, do, 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 do. How do we want to do this? Huh? Because what we'd have to do is run it to some sort of an item elevator. Or you can use hopper ducks. Oh, yeah. Duh. duh, duh. I'm thinking <laughs> vanilla here. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Durr. Okay, so hopper ducks, three iron ingots, and a plank will make four. Okay. Yeah, and I have three on me, so I don't know how many we need. I'm going to make like 12 to start with. Probably a good idea. That should be uh, at, at least a decent start, especially since you already have some. Oh, that's so cool. The way they connect looks really awesome. Yeah. So we can almost just bring it straight down. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll go this direction. Right? Okay, yeah. yeah. We'll go like Boop, 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 boop. And... Okay. Uh, is that gonna... Is that connecting to the smeltery, though? No. On the top? No? Nope. Okay. They're going the, the right direction. And then we've got the graded hopper. And I gotta remember, is this... How do you... Which, which one's the filter? Uh... That's a good question. Um... How do you filter it? Uh, is it the bottom or is it the top? That's the gray. That's I the think filter. It's the bottom. I think, I think it is two. I think you are correct. Well, yeah, it, I think that's it, the filter. Easy way to find out, right? Let's just yeah. Boom. Put Put some of that in there. See what comes out. Exactly. Do you have a few more hopper ducks or no? I do. I have okay. several. Uh, so we need a block for scaffolding. For, oh, uh, for no, scaffolding sure. purposes. There we go. Uh, we'll go up, up. Uh, can I filter it in this way? I can. Yeah. Okay, so right now we are oh, at does that... two stacks and 26. Oh, yeah, no, that's not connecting. I wonder if the redstone's messing it up. Uh, oh, that's possible. Okay, here's what we do. Do you need more, or nope. do you have enough? We need to go like so. Like so. Oh, God, do we have to reconnect this whole thing? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, here, I'll do these ones. Oh, you did yours you backwards from the way that I did. I think so. I think that's what happened there. That one's tough to get. That's why it went backwards. That's why I goofed. I goofed it. My bad. My bad. There we go. Okay. So I so, think that will do it. So we're at 64, 64. We're at 61, 64, 20. So let me toss a bunch Charcoal's of... Charcoal's going through the hopper duck. I'm... I'm, And it's arriving in the item hopper above the crate. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Uh, you know what we should probably do, though? The smart thing to do, rather than running that into the hopper... A chest. Yeah, let's run it into a chest instead. Um, do you have one? I do. Okay. So we'll go... Chest yeah, that's here. That way we can get some backlog, right? Right, right, exactly. If we ever have any. <laughs> so we need to go there. Hold on. I'm trying to remember. It was like this, there, and there. There we go. Perfect. So now those should end up. Yep, they're going in. They're going into the chest. Excellent. And we're getting a whole bunch of charcoal. Good. Yep. Yeah. Awesome setup. I love it. I and think it's really good. So basically, we automatically chuck our uh, our jungle wood, or we chuck our jungle wood into here, and then the furnace and the hopper ducks do everything else for us. Yeah. So essentially, at this point, we just need almost like an automated farm. Yeah. For uh, for jungle wood, or for well, it doesn't have to be jungle wood in wood. general. It can be any right? kind of wood. The other thing too is that um, uh, lava. Like we'll have to we'll have to manually go in and, and do the lava, but oh okay, yeah. uh, for the most part, like this is we're golden, you know. Yeah, no, it's really good. I'm really really happy with it. 
Um, I did make you a present. Oh, did uh, you? But there's one issue with the present. Okay. So I need to make you another present. Does it come with a gift well. receipt? Uh, no. Oh. No, you have to keep it. Okay. Yeah. So we got to get these mana pearls, okay? Okay. And I have to make us mana tablets. All okay. Right? That's easy enough. Because this item does require mana to use. So here is your mana tablet, good sir. Okay. And your soldier's sash. Oh, goody. I actually... Fantastic. I item. quite like the soldier's sash. Step assist, speed boost. Uh, unfortunately, I have no mana. Yeah, that's the only problem. So, uh, we can change that by shift right clicking on the mana pools with our wand to ensure that they are. You stole my mana tablet. Yeah, I did. I'm taking off my ring. It's fine. Okay, good. So then you get that into that, drain a little bit of mana, like that, so. That should be enough for enough for the time being. And now, and, step assist. And I'm a little faster. Get... Not a lot faster, but a little faster. I, didn't the Sojourner's Sash used to make you faster than this? Or is it just my imagination? It did. Uh, but now they put it into the next Sash upgrade, which, of course, we can't do. Yeah, but, but the step still. assist, you get a little bit of a jump boost. Double jump. And you are a little bit faster. Yeah, so. not, not just a little bit of a jump boost. You get a, you could jump a full additional block, which is... Is like, it a two? Is it... Hold on. Uh, Normally, you can jump one block. You can jump two with yeah. the, the soldier. Yeah, look at that. I'm like an athlete now. So. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, that's uh, that's cool and all. But there are better things, right? Of course. There's always better things. Are, are you, uh, this is modded Minecraft. It is. It is. Are you... Are you? Do you know what I'm, I'm going for here? I have a fantastic view site. Uh, what? happened <laughs> oh, oh, did you pick up the yeah yeah yeah, yeah i stole uh, that's okay oh, so you need mana steel uh no i have i have it now oh, okay okay over here yes sir ta-da what what did you make the I, I, greater I made, I made one or of those. the ring of mana i made one of those because get that stupid mana tablet out of my inventory yeah yeah so yeah, that's actually a good idea. I might have to make one of those as well. Uh, what is it called again? Uh, mana ring? Band of Mana. It's basically four uh, mana steel in a circle. Yeah, with that. Or the diamond okay. or whatever you want to call it. And then the, the mana tablet up in the corner. Yeah, let's do that too. That's a great idea. And then, yeah, exactly. Get it out of the inventory. Clean, keep everything nice and clean. Yep. And uh, be like a boss. Might as well make use of those bauble slots that we have, you know? I do have a lava charm though, which now I will not be using. But that's okay. Yeah, well, I think it's much better to have the mana like that. Yeah, so. I mean you can always swap it too. Like if you need oh, yeah. the mana charm at some point, eh, you know what? I, I'm not gonna refill my band of mana all the way though. Like we need yeah. our mana for other things as time goes yeah. on. So, uh, and the Sojourner Sash really doesn't take very much mana at all. Like. It goes through it super, 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 super slowly. Yeah, it's honestly all the mana stuff, like uh, all the tools from Batania are pretty, pretty efficient in their mana usage. Because if there's one thing, I mean, mana takes forever to accumulate. Um, so at least uh, the tools and some of the items that use the mana don't consume it at an exorbitant rate early on. You so, know, you know what just happened? What? There's the lumber axe, mm -hmm. right? The lumber axe was supposed to do a thing, and it didn't do the thing. The, the lumber axe left a, a UFO tree, and it also didn't actually oh, drop no. any of the jungle wood. I have a feeling that it's the server is like thinking about it. Uh oh! Did and, you break things? And I, I think we're gonna get like a massive lag spike here in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> or you were just that unlucky. No, no, I chopped down an no. entire jungle wood tree. Like, we should definitely have... I, I should have jungle wood logs in my inventory. I have no jungle wood logs in my inventory. <laughs> oh, dear. And, okay. I'm not, well. and I'm not entirely sure why I don't have any... Well, no, this seems like the yeah, server's... We're not really... Oh, no. no, I'm not seeing any issue, so... Like, what? What if I chop this guy down? Just, like, chop down a phantom tree or something? Why like... is my lumber axe... Do I have... No? I don't know what's going on. Lumber axe, why you no chop things? 
you break things? I, I don't know. This thing is not giving me logs. Yeah, it worked the other day. It you, worked you just for the harvesting. It did, and it worked fine. And then your computer, like, exploded. Do you see jungle woods floating, like, jungle wood logs floating around here somewhere? Anywhere? I just got a whole bunch with mine. Um, where are you? Right over here. Like, I'm not getting jungle wood. No. What no. if I... No, even my hatchet is not uh, actually giving me... Oh, you know what we're in? Huh. We might be in spawn protection. Oh, no, no, we shouldn't no. be. I don't think so. We oh. traveled quite a ways to get out of the jungle. Like, not a huge ways, but enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm we just going to go over to this big tree and chop it and see what happens. And, like, if Cause... we were in spawn protection, I shouldn't be able to chop down the tree at all. And I don't think I had spawn protection on. So. I don't think you did either. Yeah, no, this is working fine for me. So, what happened? What in the world happened to your stuff? I, d I don't know, but I just chopped down another tree and it's not doing anything. And on top of that, my, uh, my hatchet is also not properly gathering wood. I wonder if, like, mining and stuff, too. I guess we'll have to experiment. Maybe, uh... Maybe through all of our yeah, I cannot pickups. Uh, there's issues, but uh, that's very oh, strange. Yeah. I can't, I can't like break any blocks. Really? Yeah. Do I have? Uh, I don't have any effects on me. Is it one of these bobbles? Okay. Now I so I took off my sash and my magnetization ring and my band of mana, and now I can break things again. Oh, I wonder. Try putting it back on. See if it's, uh... Well, first of all, let me try to let me try to chop down a tree. Yeah. Let me let's see if that works. Nope. Still no logs. Huh. So <laughs> yeah, that's glitched out for you. Okay. Um. Rip. Interesting. We'll get that fixed up. Yeah. Between that's very this strange. And next episode. Your server is haunted, Krillic. Yeah. Haunted. Definitely. Or maybe I just installed a secret Wells Knight filter. You probably did. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> he's too destructive. Take <laughs> he's away all, all of the his, things. Take away all of his power. <laughs> That's I, right. He's too strong. Very, we must nerf him. Very, yeah, nerf <laughs> Wells nerf Knight. Wells please, Knight. Please, 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 please nerf Wells. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, too OP. but we are pretty much out of time for this episode. So uh, science today. We had a lot of fun. We did. We and did we did a lot, lot of, science. of science. And then we broke the game. Yeah. Well, just you broke the game. No, I it works fine for me. Yeah, I yeah. broke the game. Fair enough. But it's on your server. Uh, so that may be true. Your fault. Why is there so much charcoal here? Uh, IDK. There's 43. How did we get 43 there? Anyways. Know. And either way, whatever. <laughs> Guys, that is going right. to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Remember, uh, Acrylic's going on vacation, and then I'm going to Mine Fair, so it might be a little while before the next Quantus episode comes out. Don't panic. Or uh, if you feel like panicking, then everybody panic and go to Acrylic's video and leave a comment that says hashtag everybody panic. Um, everybody panic. Everybody panic. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for us. Thanks for watching. Check the description for important links and stuff. Other than that, have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.